today we're going to be doing some basic interception. So here we are in radio uh, 18, approximately 180, and we're going to intercept uh, inbound radio 240. So to do that, I'm just going to get our OBS in that direction right now. So inbound 240 is what we want. 24031 and now we're gonna calculate our intercept heading so intercept heading here since we're inbound uh, difference is 60 times 2 and 20 it's greater than 90 so 90 is going to be our intercept angle so 90 degrees in this case is uh, 330 so it's turned there and now we make our turn and we say the 5 T's turn already turn it's already twisted, the uh, timer, there's nothing in the time, so we won't bring that up for now. Although it's always a good idea to have your timer reference. And throttle maintaining 3500. And talk. Uh, I need to talk. Okay, now we're just gonna head in this direction until we intercept. Let's get our trim in a nice position. Okay, so far so good. RMI is also moving slowly but surely. This is gonna take a while because of the, uh, the nature of interception. Okay, with that RMI moving along. Alright, but before I forget, I'm gonna set that heading back to our inbound radio here. Our inbound course, I mean. Course of 060. It's gonna maintain a heading of uh, 330 for now. And let's start the turn now because it's going to start. Okay, I'm going to have to turn a bit quickly. Try not to exceed 30 degrees of bank. Let's see if we can roll out onto our desired course. And there it is. So, that we are now inbound 240 or course 060. So that was a basic interception from an inbound radio to an inbound radio using the horizontal situation indicator. Hopefully it was useful to you and if it was consider subscribing and giving a like because I will be uploading more of these short scenarios in the future. So thank you very much for watching.